Hi guys, welcome back to Jade and Crafts. And today I'm gonna be showing you my bracelet supplies and what I use to make my actual bracelets. So if you're interested in that, then just keep watching and I'll get the show on the road. Okay, so the supplies are currently in the craft closet. So let's take a little field trip and go on over there. Okay, so first thing that I have is my clipboard that I literally use every single time I make a bracelet. It's just a little clear one that is from Staples. And then I have my excess thread over here that I cut off from bracelets. And then I have some extra bobbins over here. And then I have my drawers of scissors and pens and tape. And then I have my crimp ends, which I'll show you in more detail later. And then I have some extra stuff like a sewing kit and some more needles. And I don't know what the heck these things are. I think they're like ink things. <laughs> some more bobbins that don't have holes in them. Another ring. Some failed bracelet attempts that I either quit making because I didn't like the pattern or it was going too slow or I literally just messed up. And then we have some more needles. So yeah, that is the whole entire top half. Oh, I forgot about this cute little thing that I made out of cardboard and is used to make kumuhimo bracelets. I believe that's how you call it or how you say it. And I literally learned how to make those today. So I might do a video on them later, but that is all of the supplies except for this mason jar that I use to put unfinished bracelets in. But yeah, next I have my locker with places that I've been and in it has all of the goodies. And here I just have bracelets that I've made this month. And next I have this big bag of the little plastic things that go on the strings. This is what I mean, like these things that hold the strings together. It is literally like a soccer ball or like a volleyball. And I mess around with it and it's pretty fun. It's literally like an actual ball. So love that. And next back here is some more threads and extra threads that I just don't want to wrap up right now. And then I have a bobbin wrapper, bobbin winder, I don't know what that's called. But yeah, and then I have my total amount of strings, which I will show you in more detail along with the crimp ends right now. Okay, we are back from our little field trip from the craft closet, but... I just want to tell you first off that I have a lot of threads and stuff and this is not needed at all whatsoever. I just have an obsession, so sorry about that. But I will try my best to link the Amazon thread and the crimp ends and some other thread that is close to what I got because I don't really remember what threads that I got like specifically so I will link down below the best ones that I have and some of the same ones that I bought so yeah first off I have this cute 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 crimp ends box and I said that I was getting this from Amazon in the last video and it finally came and I already made a bracelet with it. So this was only $9.99 from Amazon. And it is a good, 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 good deal. It has three different sizes. And it has gold and silver. And it has these little lobster claw clasps. I think that's what they're called. And I think these are called jump rings. They have three different sizes. This is the smallest size. This is the medium size, and this is the biggest size. So I give this one an A+. The next one that I have for my threads is some black and white threads. And these two are a mix of DMC and J&P coats. 
DMC I got from either Walmart or Michaels and then JMP coats I got from Walmart and they're just white and black. I need some more white because I use a lot of white thread. And then I have some little key rings in there. Just a mixture of them. I need to get some more key rings. But the next one I got off of Walmart. And these are a little bit thicker than DMC and JNP coats. The DMC and JNP coats are kind of the same thickness. I don't really see a difference in the thickness, but this one, let me show you, it's way thicker. And I love how cute and tiny the box is. Like, I have never seen a organizer box this small, so I was like, oh my gosh, that's so cute. And came with a little amount of goodies. I love this one. I believe this was like $14 something like that. I will try and link this down below. And if it's not there, then I couldn't find it, but I will try. I will try and find that. But next box of threads is this cutie. This has just JNP coats and DNC in it as well. This is like pretty much my main go-to box. If I'm just pulled my hair out. <laughs> If I'm looking for colors, I mainly go to this one, and hopefully that'll change with the much more threads that I have, but the thickness of these are a little bit smaller, a little bit thinner, but they are just as well, and I've mixed thicknesses. I've mixed these with these, and it turned out fine. I just had to adjust my knots a little bit, but yeah, I have multicolored thread, and I also have the sparkly thread that Jillian gave me and oh my gosh I am so obsessed with these and I'm super excited to use those in a bracelet so yeah that is the DMC and JMP coats box and there's like a ton of threads in there that are just crazy but the next box is from just loops and threads i got these from michael's if you saw it in my birthday haul and i also got some little charms from michael's as well and these kind have words like love believe and then there's like a little heart one there's also joy sun charm it is so cute so so cute i'm super excited to use those in a bracelet the next pack of charms that i got are these cute little gems or jewels i don't know which is the difference between gems and jewels but they come in a lot of different colors i'm super excited to use those charms in a bracelet so yeah i would say this thickness is pretty close to what DMC and JNP coats thicknesses are. So yeah, that's good. I can mix those colors with those. So next box, which you saw completely empty in my last video, cute and amazing. Literally, literally, literally amazing. Has my channel name on it and it is a super high quality box. It is literally everything that i could ask for and this took about two days to wrap all of these strings and put them into the box and it's literally amazing these are the amazon threads that i said were coming in the last video and i wrapped all of them they're super amazing and the thickness is about the same as the DMC and JNP coats and the loops and threads. So I can mix all of those threads together with no problem of the thickness. And these have much more of a gradient and they are super, super cool. I love, 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 love these ones. This is my most aesthetically pleasing box. And I absolutely love the box. And I will make sure to link these down in the description below. 
so yeah but yeah that is all of my bracelet supplies for you and i have a lot of stuff and i am so thankful to be able to even have that amount and be able to buy that amount that's just literally insane and i can't even process it i have an obsession i literally have an obsession but yeah that is all of the bracelet supplies that i have right now currently in 2020 of july it's actually july 4th yay july 4th but yeah i hope you enjoyed this video and we are currently at 260 subscribers okay so i literally just checked while i was editing and we have 274 subscribers that is literally insane i filmed this yesterday so thank you excuse me we were literally at like 200 not too long ago and oh my gosh i am so thankful for each and every one of you and i'm so happy that you actually like my content so thank you for watching i hope you have a wonderful day and yeah bye guys